Hello once again, ako ulit si Gio Ilagan, yung third year or fourth year medical student from Ateneo School of Medicine and Public Health, back at it again with another video. So today's video has nothing to do about me and everything to do with you. Because quarantine rules are becoming more lenient as the weeks go by, nagsisimula na naman ang paglabas at pagdami ng mga tao sa kalsada. People have started going to the groceries more often, malls have started to reopen and even restaurants are allowing dine-ins once again. Recently, DOH released an infographic on the proper use of face masks and other institutions have followed. So I decided to make this video to share with everyone how to make your cloth masks more effective when you wear them and also to discuss a few facts and myths about wearing face masks. Tulad ng, ano nga ba ang kaibahan ng mga surgical, N95, cloth, at yung mga mask na sinusuot ng mga tao pag pumupunta sila ng Japan. Ano nga ba ang tamang paraan ng pagsuot ng face mask? Blue in, blue out, white in, white out, at panghuli, pwede bang ulitin ang mga face mask? So if you want to know the answers to those questions, please watch the rest of the video kasi sobra ko itong pinagkirapan. Lahat naman ng sasabihin ko ay backed up ng mga research at mga journal articles so you can check those out at the end of this video. Okay, so let's begin! First of all, let's rank them in order of effectiveness. First, let's talk about the N95. All I have to say about this is because they are the most effective, let us please reserve these for our frontliners. Kasi sila naman talaga yung kaharap mismo yung virus araw-araw. So, nauubusan tayo ng mga supply ng ganito. So, better if we just give it to them instead. As you can see, this one is not yet even open. So, we haven't used these at all. But because my mom is a doctor, she has this just in case. Surgical masks. The price of a box of surgical masks has increased by 500 to 700%. From pre-COVID to present COVID times. <laughs> These masks provide high protection against bacteria, viruses, pollen, and dust. In my opinion, ito talaga yung perfect for the average person to use during the new normal. Yun nga lang, medyo nagmahal na. And although people have been saying na pwede naman tong i-reuse or i-disinfect, better to be on the safe side and just not. Cloth masks. Ito na yung pinakamura at pinaka-popular na masks in this new normal. Kahit saan ka man tumingin, sa grocery, sa mall, sa Lazada, sa Shopee, sa Palengke, sa Talipapa, may mga cloth masks. As some of you may know, everyone's favorite store, Uniqlo, is gonna start selling their own version of their cloth masks made from their Aerism fabric. Yun nga lang, yung estimated price niya ay 450 pesos a piece. But, you can reuse it a maximum of 20 times without compromising its durability or quality. Anyway, gaano nga ba effective ang normal na cloth masks? They say it provides good protection against dust and pollen, but when it comes to bacteria and more importantly, for this case, viruses, medyo average lang yung protective capabilities nila. So now you might be wondering, why do public health experts, DOH, Mayo Clinic, and even CDC recommend the use of face masks? Well, ito sabi ng CDC and let me read it. A cloth face covering may not protect the wearer, but it may keep the wearer from spreading the virus to others. In other words, ang pagsuot ng face mask ay primarily para sa mga taong may sakit Alam man nilang may sakit sila o wala. Meron kasing tinatawag na asymptomatic or carrier. Which means, okay naman yung pakiramdam mo. Wala ka naman sakit, wala ka naman ubo, hindi naman masakit yung katawan mo. Pero pag tinest ka, positive ka sa COVID. Lastly, ito ang mga tinatawag ng mga tao na Japanese fashion or sponge masks. They look great. Especially the black ones. Mga kang K-pop star na nakikintay ng flight sa airport. But, depending on the brand, you can have as much protection as a surgical mask or as little to no protection at all. So, ito, bigay ito ng patient ng mom ko. So, sabi ng Google Translate, it is 99% effective against viruses and against pollution. That's what the... PM 2.5 means particulate matter 2.5 something something. To be safe, I guess it's better to stay away from these for the meantime because baka mamaya false advertising lang naman pala. 
wearing your face mask. May tinatawag sa medical world na donning or doffing. In other words, pagsuot o pagtanggal. In wearing PPEs, medical workers follow a proper procedure to make sure na tama ang pagsuot nila sa PPE nila. So, ito. Tuturuan ko na kayo kung paano magsuot at magtanggal ng face mask. But before that, here are the wrong ways of wearing a face mask. Jumping out the whip, shit cold. Watching my step ground froze. Most my day spent long. Same with my bro, he knows. Ay, gotta pay dues. Walking in mud, you could check my shoes. Trying to bite this, my chip your tooth. Trying to come with you, fake no room. When I made that. So, ito na ang tamang paraan ng pagsuot ng face mask. Before anything else, make sure your hands are clean. Next, get a clean face mask and put it on. Sa mga surgical mask, di ba may matigas na para may bakal. Dito yan sa ilong mo. Tapos, pipisilin mo para mag-conform. <laughs> mag-conform sa nose mo. Yan. Next, ibaba ang baba hanggang baba. And yan, make sure na walang butas. So, walang butas dito sa ilalim, walang butas dito sa sides, at walang butas dito sa taas kasi pinisil mo. Okay? Para sa mga mask na walang bakal sa taas, suotin lang ulit. At siguraduhin na wala lang butas dito sa taas at dito sa baba, ibababa ang baba sa baba. Yan. Okay. Siguraduhin nyo rin na ang mask na susutin nyo ay kasya sa mukha nyo. Kasi ito, hindi ito kasya sa akin. So, this is actually my mom's. And barely fit. So, kita mo, hindi siya bumababa ng baba. Tapos, parang may butas, may butas dito. So, delikada yan. So, for me, hindi ko ito gagamitin. Uh, ngayon, kung tapos nyo nang gamitin, pwede nyo nang tanggalin. Pero first, Alcohol muna. Next, hawakan ng ear loops at diretso na itong tapon. Pagkatapos, mag-alcohol ulit o maghugas ng kamay. Dahil nasuot na to sa labas, itong harap, bawal mo na yung hawakan kasi posibleng may virus na yan. Pwede nyo ding i-fold ng ganito. Okay? Tapos, Tapon. Kung lalaban nyo na ang cloth face mask nyo, syempre, soap and water, pero better than if detergent or bleach. So ito, diretsyo na sa lapahan. Sa tamang paraan ng pagsuot ng mask, mas mababawasan na kaagad ang chances mong makuha ang COVID. At kung asymptomatic ka man, mas mababawasan rin ang chances na makahawa ka ng ibang tao. But it doesn't end there. Did you know that you can increase the protective capabilities of your cloth face mask by as much as 33%. At ang kailangan mo lang gamitin ay common household product na kitchen paper towel or tissue paper. According to Robertson 2020, according to Robertson 2020, two layers of tissue paper or kitchen towels can increase the filtration capabilities of your mask by 33%. Supportado din ito ng mga researchers ng University of Hong Kong Shenzhen Hospital who advised the same thing. So ang kailangan nyo lang talagang gawin ay pumunta sa banyo, kumuha ng dalawang tissue paper, ilagay sa clean mask, syempre, at suotin. Tapos yan, by 33%, naging mas effective na ang mask mo. Syempre, pagtatanggalin, Itapo na kaagad ang tissue paper. Pag mo nang laban. Kung may budget naman kayo, pwede rin kayong bumili ng mga face mask filters sa Shopee. Uh, I won't link anything here because I haven't tried them yet. Pero at least you know that you have an option. Yung mga face mask filter na yon nilalagay dito. May mga nabibili din na mask na may provisions para dun sa mga filter. So ito parang may pocket sa loob. So dito mo ilalagay yung filter pag sinot mo. Is it possible to reuse a surgical mask? Sabi ng FDA Taiwan, pwede raw gamitin ang rice cooker sa pag-disinfect ng surgical mask. Surgical ha, hindi cloth. This is because research says that the coronavirus dies at temperatures higher than 70 degrees Celsius. So mas mataas siguro sa 70 degrees ang pagluto ng rice. I won't discuss it anymore but if you want to see the video on how they did it, 
I'll put it in the description below. If you've made it this far into the video, I want to discuss one last mask that I haven't discussed yet and that is the Abaka mask. I've been seeing it on TV recently and it looks promising. Most especially kasi gawa siya dito sa Pilipinas. If I'm able to get a hold of one or if you know anyone who's connected to those people who are making those masks, please get in contact with me and I would love to make a video about those in the future. So thank you everyone. That's it for today's video. I hope you found it useful. If you enjoyed this video, please support me and subscribe as I make more videos in the future about health, medicine, medical school, and other things I am passionate about. Maraming salamat. Peace.